Hi there, Rigor here from Rigor's Garage and Boat Basin. As you can see today, we're in the Boat Basin. Uh, we're working on a 1986 Wellcraft Excalibur 27. Uh, we've had some work done on the back seat and we've uh, put it back in. Uh, we'll go over, basically I took out the back seat and you've seen the pictures of uh, what was wrong uh, with the back seat. Uh, we've put it back in, uh, we've put the pockets back on the front. Uh, we've used a combination of uh, some new materials and some existing materials to uh, refurbish the back seat. Okay, we've got the, the back seat uh, and the upholstery. You see the, the back seat with the two axis panels that are underneath the cushion. And you'll see that various places in the back seat, uh, the upholstery has rips. Uh, there's some places where the, the piping is uh, worn away from being used uh, over the past uh, 30 years. There are uh, where the um, panels are sewn together. Uh, the, basically, the, the threads were coming apart. Uh, you find wear marks, especially along the bottom corners uh, of, the, of the seat. You'll find that there are, are wear out where basically the surface of the uh, vinyl has worn away. Uh, that's happened on both sides. And you also, I like say, then there's also some more that have uh, um, tears or wear out points. So uh, what are the tools you need to remove and replace uh, uh, upholstery? Uh, this is a, a selection here along with a, a small compressor. The one I use is an inexpensive uh, two-gallon compressor uh, with a short five-foot hose. And that drives a uh, porter cable a nail gun. Um, this is a short nose. There's uh, two kinds you can get, one being a, a short nose, one being a long nose. Uh, they're available. Uh, the other thing is you need stainless steel staples. This particular one takes uh, staples that have a 3 8 inch crown. That's the, the distance across the top of the staple. And I use a 3 8 inch. And these are the, the stainless steel staples that go in the the stapler the other thing is a staple remover i use uh, this device and i'll show you how that works that removes staples sometimes you find the staple doesn't come completely out and you need to grab like one side sticks in the media and you either use a needle nose or uh, side cutters you basically grasp and twist to take the staple out. Now the staple remover is uh, interesting. Uh, basically what you do with the staple remover is you push, so you work the nose of the staple remover under the staple and then you push up and it grabs it like a pliers and pulls it out. Now of course the obvious thing is to Put the staple back in use a staple gun and that's what you get so these are the the tools uh, for the most part that I use uh, also you may use uh, scissors uh, to cut uh, plastic film I usually put a, a coating of plastic film over the uh, foam that's on the wooden seat frame uh, makes it easier to put the covering back on, uh, plus it also provides some uh, waterproofing. Now after you've removed um, uh, 
uh, or you've taken all of your pictures of, of the seat from every angle, whatever your upholstery is, um, what you want to do is start taking off um, all of the, uh, the stapled on uh, upholstery items. You want to take off mounting brackets, um, trim strips, all of these things uh, until you can remove uh, the outer upholstery. And then you'll get down to uh, foam uh, that's over the, the wood or in many cases plastic um, frame of, of your seat. Um, actually, one of the places I've found that's really good at, at giving you an overview of upholstery is uh, the, the website SailRite, S-A-I-L-R-I-T-E. Uh, and they sell all the materials for doing your own upholstery, everything. Um, I, I've found their website to be, be uh, a fairly helpful. I mean, I don't sit there and sew my own upholstery. Um, I don't want to invest in an $800 sewing machine. But um, <clears throat> when you get down, uh, like I say, the Sailorite is, uh, is, a, is a good website uh, for learning. Uh, when you get down to the foam, um, I take and use uh, 3M Adhesive 77, and I glue, uh, glue the foam uh, back on to the, the wood substrate, or ma matter of fact, I fix any little pieces of rotted wood that I find. Um, and then I take some thin plastic, and I mean, this is like one to two mils, uh, it's drop cloths, and I cover... The seat I take and I, I cut it and uh, give it a little spray of glue to tack it in place and cover the seat in plastic and that's in preparation for putting back uh, the upholstery. Now as you can see we've used a combination of, of uh, parts. Um, for example uh, right in here, uh, this vinyl, this vinyl has all been replaced with uh, new vinyl. Uh, we've put the pockets back on. Uh, they're held on with uh, hidden screws that are inside the pockets. Uh, some of the others, for example, the the arms here that were uh, all cracked, and the uh, the piping. Uh, this this is the the piping on the seat and it's this basically vinyl wrapped around a, uh, a cord the vinyl was replaced uh, the seat back right here uh, this was replaced originally the seat was sewn uh, on the previous seat much like these uh, these are sewn um, but uh, this is heat sealed if you take a look at the locations right here these have been heat sealed these are sewn and so this is new this is new over there is new and if you take a look at the armrest right there you'll see that is sewn uh, basically i had an upholstery shop um, sit there and and sew up put new panels in the the back of the seat um, now i put on uh, for example, this decorative trim here, if you take a look, you will find the decorative, if you take a look at this trim, what this does is it hides the staples. And I'm trying to pull it apart. If you look at this, you, you'll, you'll get in here, and as you go along, you'll find staples are hidden. Basically what you do is you find one end and then you run the nose of the staple gun around it and uh, staple it in place. Relatively simple. Uh, basically at, when the uh, uh, upholstery came back from the upholstery shop, uh, all I did was stretch it over the uh, uh, foam. I put some new plastic on it, but I stretched it over the foam and then uh, started uh, stapling. Uh, basically uh, in the place you can't see Behind the armrest here, uh, back in here, uh, underneath, 
there's there's a wooden platform here uh, all those areas were stapled and uh, basically I stretched the uh, the upholstery and uh, stapled it down uh, came up with uh, basically a, a, a nice seat uh, so that's the uh, the restoration of the back seat and uh, I hope you en enjoyed my little series thanks okay what you didn't see was the seat uh, this seat basically the the wood was replaced the foam glued to it and at the same time I put in a new uh, bottom cover and new top covers if you take a look at the the same time I had the the uh, seat covered they did the same thing to the I mean the whole seat but to the cushion here uh, they basically put uh, a new vinyl on so the completed seat